Hi, my name is Andy Lin. I'm an FAE at uh, MicroSemi, focused on the major hyperscaler. I'd like to show you an NVMe over fabric demo with P2P memory offload using MicroSemi SwitchTech PCIe switch, FlashTech NVRAM drive, and FlashTech NVMe controller in a reference architecture along with our partners' products to deliver an end-to-end -end MV over fabric solution. Today, the NVMe SSDs are only accessible by the CPU that they're attached to. NVMe over fabric is a new standard that enables transporting the same NVMe structure over a fabric, allowing access by other servers. Microsemi has been working with partners such as Milanox, Celestica, Memblaze, and Techman to enable the adoption of NVMe over fabric. So why is NVMe over fabric needed? Oh, well, Fast growth of data and application performance requirements are driving new generation of storage devices and architecture in the cloud data center. NVMe SSD adoption is increasing in the data center by moving the low latency storage closer to the processor through PCIe. Another progression is to extend the NVMe's low latency and high performance benefits beyond just local to a server. For a scale out storage architecture, NVMe eliminates protocol translation and higher latency that we see with SCSI, delivering an end-to-end -end NVMe solution. NVMe over fabric is achieved by relaying the NVMe commands over a RDMA network uh, that presents NVMe storage elements to client system as if they're directly connected. NVMe over fabric adds only tens of microseconds of latency compared to the latency of direct attached PCIe and VME SSDs. There are a number of benefits of NVMe over fabric. Remote servers can access the same low latency PCIe and VME SSDs over fabric. It enables disaggregation of compute and storage, which allows for independent scaling of each by demand. You can do storage pooling. Um, and by using MicroSemi SwitchTech's dynamic partitioning feature, you can aggregate and disaggregate storage devices in real time. There are three key MicroSemi products in this demo. The first is the SwitchTech. The SwitchTech PCIe Gen 3 storage switch family is programmable and high reliability, supporting up to 96 lanes, 48 ports, 24 virtual switch partitions, 48 NTBs, and hot and surprise plug controller for each port. SwitchTech is the only product in the, in the industry that supports by 2 bifurcation to vo avoid wasting valuable PCIe lanes, if that's all your endpoint support. The SwitchTech family has features such as advanced error containment, comprehensive diagnostics, and debug capabilities, a wide range of IOS interfaces, and an integrated MIPS processor. SwitchTech utilizes a system-on-chip architecture that optionally enables customer differentiated solution through firmware and customization and enhancement. In this demo, we're using a 96-link SwitchTech inside a Celestica Nebula, which is a dual-ported NVMe JBOF, to demonstrate storage aggregation within the NVMe over fabric model. Now let's take a look at the demo setup. This demo consists of a uh, client and a server, each containing a Milnox CX-5 Rocky um, RDMA over converged Ethernet NIC card, a Milnox 100 gigabit Ethernet switch, and a Celestica Nebula NVMe JBOF. The JBOF contains both the Memblaze and Techman's dual ported NVMe SSD based on MicroSemi's FlashTech NVMe controllers. The client is running Ubuntu 16.04 LTS 4.8-54 generic kernel that provides support for NVMe over fabric client. Now, any other OS distribution with NVMe over fabric support will work as well. The server, however, is running a forked version of Linux kernel, P2P mem, that enables the DRAM offload. Both the client and the servers are connected to the Milanox switch via CX5's RDMA NIC. 
the server uses a switch tech PCIe switch to fan out to a CX-5, flash tech NVRAM drive, and a Celestica PCIe HBA. The PCIe HBA is used to connect to Celestica Nebula, which has a microsemi switch tech in it. Now there are two key things I'd like to highlight in this demo. One is the operation of the traditional NVMe over fabric, and the other is the P2P MEM data path. We're using a multi-terminal program to show the different traffic path and their respective performance. Now, on the left-hand windows um, here, uh, we're running FIO and without the FIO, P2P MEM offload. On the right side of the window, um, we're using our switch tech COI to display a PCIe topology and link states info. To demonstrate the traditional NVMe over fabric, i.e. no P2P MEM, the client is generating a one megabyte of IOs uh, to a pool of NVMe SSDs inside the nebula through the fabric. The traditional NVMe or fabric data path flows from the client to the fabric, then into the system memory via CX5, and finally reaches the nebula JBuff. We then proceed to enable P2P MEM as a comparison. Now, as you can see, the P2P MEM traffic um, is routed to the flash tech NVRAM instead of the system DRAM, thus significantly reducing the system DRAM bandwidth. As you can see, we're building a NVM Mural Fabric ecosystem by working with key partners such as Milanox and Celestica to enable and accelerate adoption of this technology. And of course, the MicroSemi contribution of P2P MEM to the open source community. MicroSemi's comprehensive portfolio of PCIe switches, NVMe controllers, and NVRAM controllers, coupled with our expertise in performance storage, will accelerate adoption of this important implementation of NVMe. My name is Andy Lin from MicroSemi, and thanks for watching.